Here is a complete list of the best video effects artists you need to follow. Number one on this list is Brian O'Donnell, who goes by Explore Create Capture on Instagram. He has a YouTube channel titled Explore Create Capture, where he shares his short yet extremely helpful tutorials. He also shares his mini tutorials to his Instagram. I've even attempted two of his videos based off his mini tutorials. Brian is 25 and based in Dublin and travels the world making amazing videos. These are some of my favorite videos of his. He truly is a genius who will go down in the history books. Number two on the list is VFX Studio Kaliba. I've followed for many years. I've witnessed his YouTube channel grow from like 5,000 to over 107,000 followers in a short amount of time. He teaches anywhere from basic to advanced VFX techniques. He is the perfect YouTuber to go to, especially if you're a beginner, as his methods are really easy to understand. Caleb Natale is one of the top geniuses of the video effects world. His Instagram is at Caleb Natale, but he also has a second Instagram called Natale underscore pro that reveals his before and after video edits. On his YouTube channel, he has two playlists, behind the scenes and fast tutorials. He doesn't necessarily break down his video step by step, but you can still learn a lot just by watching his before and afters. Make sure to follow him and give his videos a watch if advanced VFX and Blender is your thing. Peter Quinn's videos are fun and really quirky. He usually uploads a tutorial for each video he creates. He works with brands and celebrities and uses himself as a subject in much of his work. Many of his videos have become viral sensations for other video effects artists, such as the one where you flick yourself, an idea I've even attempted myself. He is another one who is definitely one for the history books. Queen Chelsea may have only begun posting her videos in 2022, but she has quickly become a viral sensation. Often dubbed as a female Zach King, her ideas are original and fun. She creates magic trick illusion videos often based around fashion that leave you wondering how she did it. The great part is that she does share her secrets on her Instagram and her YouTube channel. To edit her videos, she primarily uses After Effects and Blender. Blender is a 3D modeling animation program that is for advanced video editors. In the past year alone, Chelsea has gotten hundreds and millions of views on her videos all across her socials. Karen X. Chang is one of my personal favorite video creators. She often uses an Insta360 camera to film her videos and shares tutorials on her Instagram and her free Patreon. As a self-made filmmaker, she's a go-to expert for creating technical yet artful videos that are so cool they're practically guaranteed to go viral. She keeps up with AI techniques in her videos and has millions of views across her socials. Emily LaRussa, also known as eMoney, on Instagram used to work at CBS news station where she won two Emmys for her work. She left her job so that she could pursue becoming a motion graphics influencer full time. When she's not posting collaborations, she typically uses herself as a subject in her work. After posting a video to her Instagram, typically she'll post a follow-up video tutorial on how she created that specific video. Emini is so inspiring and her tutorials are really helpful, so I'm very excited to see what she'll be creating next. Matthew Sally has started several video trends in the video effects community, such as his video where the ocean rolls over his feet from inside of his house and transitions to a beach outside. He first caught my eye with this video of him throwing a coconut into the ocean and the coconut transforms into a massive rock in the ocean. Matthew has been starting to post more tutorials to his YouTube, but most of his tutorials are posted to his Instagram. If you follow Will Smith, then you've definitely seen Jass's work as Jass is Will Smith's primary content and video creator. Jass doesn't have many tutorials, but his work is so mind-blowing and you can definitely learn just by watching his videos. Will Carmack is one of my favorite content creators to follow as he is very active with his YouTube channel and posting tutorials. He has almost 80,000 subscribers and almost 400 YouTube videos and tutorials to learn from. He first caught my eye with this freeze frame video he made of Liza Koshi and the tutorial that followed with it. 
I followed Jack Thalman from the beginning of his Instagram tutorial based journey which started barely one year ago and he already has more than 17,000 Instagram followers. His content is solely based around tutorials and teaching his audience how to create cool videos and cool effects in Premiere Pro and CapCut and CapCut is of course an iPhone video editing app. Nico Sobolewski, I hope I pronounced that right, is another genius in the video creating world. He also goes by Nico Sobo on Instagram. His quirky and unexpected videos remind me a lot of Kevin Perry, even though they both maintain their own personal style. Nico is based in Germany and posts behind the scenes videos on his Instagram so that his viewers can see how his tricks were made. Duncan Evans, also known as Curly Kid Life on Instagram, was one of the first VFX artists I ever followed. His fun and zany videos are very well executed and he also uses himself as a subject in most of his work. He is a storyteller that uses visual effects to show the weird and wonderful ways his mind works. Known as the queen of transitions, Marta Sierra is a Spanish fashion creator goddess who has built a massive following on Instagram with her unique and playful videos that showcase her style and personality. Many of Marta's videos feature fun transitions from one outfit to another, which has become her trademark style on Instagram. Experimenting with videos and putting her own twists on trends have allowed her to establish a personal brand and helped her content reach over a billion views. I'm pretty sure her now husband is the man behind her filming and editing. No secrets are spilled, but her unique transitions can often be easily studied. Steve Womack has built a platform of over 4 million followers on Instagram solely by teaching video tutorials. First he shows a video from another creator and then he demonstrates in his own video how that person filmed and edited their video. He only uses his phone for the filming and only uses the app CapCut for the video editing. Video influencers like him are important to include because he is there solely to teach others. Steve currently has 635 posts on his Instagram, so there's definitely a lot of inspiration there to dig from. Cinecom.crew is a very popular YouTube channel that also exists solely to teach. They teach their audience how to film and edit. They use Premiere Pro and After Effects to teach their ideas, which are sometimes original and other times inspired from other creators and celebrities. I've personally learned a lot from Cinecom. Their playlist is well organized, which includes music video effects and ideas, as well as green screen tutorials. Cinecom have announced their breakup from YouTube many months ago, but hopefully they'll be back soon, as the cast of characters that make up Cinecom are fun to watch and very well missed. The next person on this list is a very influential Zach King. So where do I begin with this guy? So Zach King began his magical journey at the age of seven when his parents first handed him a video camera. From that moment on, Zach began creating videos for his family, but all that changed when Zach went to college. Zach began sharing his magic videos on Vine and it wasn't long before he had over 4 million followers and became known as the digital magician or also the modern day Charlie Chaplin. Now with over 30 million fans around the internet, Zach and his team continue to create magical videos and share new stories with the world. Zach King is easily the most influential person in the video effects or VFX community. Everybody looks up to him as he is truly the king of originality and straight dedication. Zach doesn't really teach his secrets, but plenty of other people on YouTube teach his secrets for him. Kevin Perry is similar to Zach King, although both maintain an original style of their own. Based in Canada, Kevin is a stop-motion animator and visual effects artist who creates mind-bending illusions. He has more than 15 years of experience in the film and animation industry. Kevin is another creator that will definitely be studied in the history books as his sheer genius creates a huge impact among the video creation world. Brandon Baum creates some of the most mind-blowing videos on the internet. He has almost 14 million subscribers on YouTube where he showcases his work and often breaks down the process. He labels himself a Hogwarts dropout in his Instagram bio and his magic ways are certainly going to be remembered forever. There aren't too many female video creators out there but Cash Bunny is one of the top. 
She has started a lot of viral video editing trends. Cash Bunny is based in Los Angeles and used to be an editor at MTV. Before she was shooting and directing her own material, Cash Bunny was working for several other companies before breaking off in 2018 to create original content as a freelancer. Today, she uses a wide range of shooting techniques and digital effects to create playful and dreamlike work. I don't know if I'm pronouncing this correctly, Hallie Toot, but she is one of my personal favorite creators and her videos really just scorch you with their intensity and make you feel like shivers. I only discovered her last week even though she is insanely popular and I have no idea how I went so long without knowing about her. Hallie often breaks down her process and her 3D work and is totally and crazily awe-inspiring to the core. She is definitely the coolest. If you follow anyone out of this list, it must be her. Void's toe is a bit of a mystery man as he never shows his face or uses himself as a subject in his own work. Known as a mixed reality artist and based in Canada, he creates art that makes people question their everyday reality. I believe that he uses Cinema 4D to edit his videos, and of course Cinema 4D is a 3D modeling motion graphics software program that is similar to Blender. He first caught the public's eye with his viral collaborations he did with Drake at Drake's house in Toronto. Known on Instagram as just Joshing, he is another 3D modeling animation artist. Joshua also uses the program Cinema 4D, which I would know because I took one of his online courses last year. He does breakdowns of many of his videos on YouTube and Instagram, but you would have to be like a genius to keep up with his process and technique. Known as the Pac-Man 82, Phil Cohen has almost 1 million followers on Instagram for his 3D work. Unlike the previous two creators, Phil uses Blender to edit his 3D work. Blender is a totally free program, an open source 3D creation suite that can be used to make 2D and 3D content. His videos are amazing, and if 3D and content creation is your thing, he is definitely a must follow. Kevin Luce Garden seems to have taken a step back from creating. Nonetheless, his work is super epic and deserves a major spotlight. Kevin is originally from Venezuela and makes impossible videos as described in his bio. He always breaks down his process too, making his content even more fun to follow. Max Novak is a YouTube-based content creator who teaches his viewers how to film and edit. I've learned a lot by following Max along with his 400,000 YouTube subscribers. His playlist on YouTube includes beginner, intermediate, and advanced tutorials in Premiere Pro and After Effects and are often centered around music video effects. Matthew from France is one of my favorites. At a very young age, Matthew has already impressed so many, including Zach King who flew him out to LA to work on videos. If you want to get started but you don't have a DSLR camera, then I would suggest using your cell phone camera to film and edit your videos. Here are some examples of my videos. I use After Effects and Premiere Pro currently and hope to switch to 3D at some point. If there was anyone that I missed, please let me know in the comment section below. As someone myself who may not be the greatest at video effects, especially compared to the list of people above, I still have a major passion for video effects in general and have improved a lot over the years just by following and observing the creators on this list. I hope you're all having a very productive and creative week. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos and okay bye!